This is a tutorial on how to loom knit a lace hat slash stained glass hat. And this is what the hat will look like without the base hat. And we're going to be using three different stitches um, to create this hat. And this is what the hat looks like with a colorful base to give it a stained glass effect. And what I've done is I've used Renee Van Hoy's book to go in and learn all the stitches. So you'll need a 40 or 41 peg loom and you want to go ahead and e-wrap cast on and e-wrap your first row. You'll need two strands of worsted yarn to create this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off and you're going to e-wrap one Then you're going to e-wrap the second one, toss the bottom loop over, pick up that loop, and move it to the next peg. Then you're going to e-wrap that peg and toss both loops over the top. And then you're going to e-wrap two. You will repeat this five peg set that we just did seven more times all the way around. Now we'll show you one more time how to go about this. E wrap the first peg, e wrap the second peg, take that loop, move it to the next, e wrap, toss both loops over and e-wrap two. Go ahead and pause the video to complete the row. Now if you're doing a 40 peg loom you don't have to worry about this but if you're on a 41 peg loom you'll have an odd peg out and with that odd peg out just e-wrap it with this stitch that we're working on right now. So keep in mind you'll e-wrap that one. Next, so our next row, you want to e-wrap, yarn over, e-wrap, three. One, two, three. And toss the loops over. Now you're going to repeat this five peg set all the way around seven more times. And I will show you one more time. You're going to e-wrap, yarn over to the front, and then e-wrap three. And you'll want to repeat this all the way around. And if you have the odd peg out on a 41 peg loom, e-wrap. So go ahead and pause to complete. And again, if you have an odd, that odd peg gown on a 41 peg loom, just e-wrap it and toss it over. Now we're going to work on the third row on our set. And what you want to do is you want to e-wrap the first one, toss the bottom loop over, move that loop to the next peg, e-wrap, and toss both loops over. Then e-wrap the next peg, toss the bottom loop over, take that loop, put it on to the next one, e-wrap, and toss the two loops over. Then you want to e-wrap one. Now you want to repeat this five peg set that we just did seven more times. So there's your five peg set, and we'll want to repeat it seven more times, and I'll show you how to do it one more time. So you want to here wrap the first one, toss the bottom loop over, move that loop to the next peg, e wrap, toss both loops over. E wrap the next peg, toss the bottom loop over, put on to the next peg, 
ERAP, toss the bottom two loops over, and ERAP one. Go ahead and pause the video to complete this all the way around. Remember on the 41 peg, ERAP that one. Okay. Now that we've done that, we're fixing to do our next row, so we're going to yarn over, ERAP, yarn over, and ERAP two. And this is your next five peg set. And you're going to repeat this one all the way around seven more times. So I'm going to show you the five peg set one more time. Yarn over, ERAP, yarn over, ERAP two. Now you're going to pause the video to complete those rows and you're going to e-wrap that last peg. Next you're going to e-wrap one and then you're going to e-wrap the next one and then you're going to pick that up and move it to the next peg and then you're going to e-wrap that toss the bottom two loops over ERAP 2. And you're going to repeat this 5 peg set 7 more times. So ERAP 1, ERAP the next one, pick up that loop, put it on the next peg, ERAP, toss the bottom loops over, and ERAP 2. You want to repeat that all the way around. So go ahead and pause the video to complete the row. And you'll see that the holes are starting to get created to do the lace. At this point, you want to e wrap one, yarn over, and e wrap three. And you'll want to repeat this five peg set that we just did seven more times and I'll show you one more time so ERAP 1, yarn over and ERAP 3 go ahead and continue pause the video to complete the row and then we will move on from there remember to ERAP that odd peg out now that we've done that, you want to go in and you want to e-wrap a row, purl a row, and e-wrap a row. And this is going to separate this stitch with the next one. So go ahead and pause the video to complete an e-wrapped row, and a purled row, and an e-wrap row. Now we want to go ahead and do our second stitch, which is going to be a diamond. And we've done those three rows to separate this stitch with the next one. And you'll see it here how that doing those three rows is separating the first stitch from the second one. And that kind of breaks it up. So what we want to do to get started with that diamond pattern is we want to purl the first peg. And so we want to purl the first peg. Then we want to e wrap three pegs. Then we'll want to move loop five to peg six and loop seven to peg six so that you have three loops on peg six. So go ahead and move loop five to peg six and loop seven to peg six which gives you three loops. Then you have an open loop 
I mean an open peg on each side. So what you want to do is you want to yarn over the front. So you want to yarn over and you want to e-wrap peg six and yarn over. And what you want to do on that peg six is toss all three loops over. So there's one, two, and three. Now you want to e-wrap three pegs. And then you'll want to purl three. And this is a 13 row set that you will do two more times. So I'm going to show you, you don't have to worry, I'm actually going to show you all the way through this one. So purl your first one, E-Wrap 3, Move loop 5 to peg 6, loop 7 to peg 6, and you're going to yarn over, e-wrap, yarn over, toss all three loops over on peg 6. And you're going to e-wrap three, and then purl three. And we'll want to complete this one more time. Back to your starting point. So go ahead and purl one, you wrap three, move loop five to peg six and loop seven to peg six. you're going to purl three, and if you're working with a 40 peg limb, you'll just purl if just one more, and if you're working with a 41 peg limb, you'll purl two. And that's something to keep in mind for your last two, one to two pegs. So now you've completed the first row. Now you want to purl one, e wrap three, purl one, e wrap one, purl one. E-wrap three, and then purl three. Again, you'll want to repeat this 13 peg set two more times. And don't worry, I'll show you how to do that. So go ahead and purl one, e-wrap three, purl one, 
one, which is your yarn over. You wrap one, purl one, and you wrap three. And the best way to keep up with where you purl in the middle of that is wherever your yarn over is. You'll always purl it and then purl three at the end of that set. And you'll repeat this one more time. So purl one, you wrap three, purl one, you wrap one, purl one, you wrap three. Purl one, two, three, and then naturally you purl the last two, or one, depending on the loom you have. Okay, now what we're going to do is purl one and e wrap two. We're going to start working that diamond out to the outer point. So you've just e wrap two. Now you're going to move peg loop four to peg five. So move loop four to peg five. Then you're going to yarn over, e wrap two. Toss both those loops over, and then e wrap peg six. Now you're going to move loop eight peg seven, like that. And then you're going to e-wrap and yarn over. And you want to toss both loops over. Then e-wrap two, purl three. Then you're going to repeat that 13 row set we just did two more times. And I'll show you again, so don't worry. You're going to purl one, e wrap two, move loop four to loop to peg five, yarn over, e wrap two. Move loop eight to peg seven. E wrap and yarn over. Toss both loops over. E wrap two. And purl three. going to repeat this one more time back to your starting point. So purl one, e wrap two, move loop four to peg five, yarn over, e wrap two, Move loop eight to peg seven, e wrap one, and yarn over. And e wrap two, and purl the rest of the way back to your starting point. Now we're going to purl one, e wrap two, purl your yarn over, e 
wrap three. Curl your yarn over. You wrap two. Pearl three. Repeat this 13 peg set two more times and I'll show you how to do that. So purl one, you wrap two, purl your yarn over, you wrap three, Curl your yarn over. You wrap two. And purl three. You're going to repeat this one more time back to your starting point. Go ahead and purl one. You wrap two, move pearl, you wrap three, pearl, you wrap two. Pearl the rest of the way back to your starting point. Now we're going to create the end points, the outer points on your diamond. So go ahead and purl one, e wrap one. Move loop three to peg four, yarn over, e wrap four. Toss both loops over, and then e wrap regularly. Okay. Then move loop nine. Peg eight. E wrap, yarn over, E wrap. Pearl You're going to repeat that 13 peg set two more times. Pearl one, you wrap one. Move loop three, peg four. Yarn over and e wrap. Then e wrap three. Then you want to move loop 9 to peg 8. E wrap, yarn over, E wrap 1, and purl 3. You're going to repeat this one more time. Move loop 9 to peg 8, 
E-wrap, yarn over, E-wrap one, and purl the rest of the way back. We've now put our diamond out to its outer points. Now we're going to want to go back into our inner points and start working towards that direction. So you can kind of see what we've done. So what you want to do now, you want to purl one, e-wrap one, Purl one, which is your yarn over. E wrap five, two, three, four, and five. Then purl your yarn over. E wrap one. Then purl three. Repeat this thirteen peg set two more times. So you want to purl one, e wrap one, purl your yarn over. You wrap five. Pearl your yarn over. You wrap one. Pearl three. You want to repeat this one more time, all the way back to your beginning. So go ahead and purl one, e wrap one, purl your yarn over, e wrap five, purl your yarn over. You wrap one and purl the rest of the way back. Now we're going to start working our spaces back into the top point. So go ahead and purl one. You wrap two. Then move loop four to peg five. Yarn over, e wrap. And move loop eight to peg seven. And e wrap you e wrap peg six so you know but we've done this before we're repeating a row e wrap two and purl three you're going to repeat this thirteen peg set two more times so purl one. E-wrap two, move loop four to peg five, yarn over, E-wrap two, move loop eight to peg seven, E-wrap and yarn over, 
ERAP 2 and PEARL 3. Go ahead and repeat this one more time. Pearl 1, ERAP 2, move loop 4 to peg 5, yarn over, ERAP 2, move loop 8 to peg 7, ERAP, yarn over, ERAP 2, and purl the rest of the way back. Now that we've done that, do our next row, pearl 1, ERAP 2, pearl your yarn over, ERAP 3, pearl your yarn over, ERAP 2, pearl repeat this 13 peg set two more times pearl 1 ear up 2 peg 4 me pearl Ear up three. Pearl. Ear up two. And pearl three. Repeat this one more time. So, pearl 1, ear up 2, pearl your yarn over, ear up 3, pearl your yarn over, ear up 2, and purl the rest of the way back. Okay. Purl 1. Ear up 3. Move loop 5 to peg 6 and loop 7 to peg 6. This is going back to our top point of our diamond. Yarn over, E wrap, and yarn over. Pass all three loops over the top. E wrap 3. And here's where it's going to get tricky. We're going to be overlapping our last stitch with this one. So you want to move loop 12 to peg 11. And then you're going to want to move loop 13 to peg 14. 
and this can be a little tight, but I'm going to show you a trick that will make it a much easier transition. trying to show you what it looks like once both are moved. You see two open pegs in between. And so you want to e-wrap all those four pegs now. E-wrap, e-wrap, e-wrap. So now that we went into the first peg on the next 13, you're going to start with the second peg on that 13th set and move from there. But I'm going to show you how to do this again. So E-Rep 3 from this point. Move loop 5 to peg 6. Loop 7 to peg 6. Yarn over, e wrap, yarn over. E wrap three. Move loop twelve to peg eleven. And this is what's going to make moving that loop over easier. Go ahead and e wrap those two loops together. And then you should be easily able to move loop 13 to peg 14 and then e wrap those three. You're going to do this again one more time. So e wrap three. Peg six and loop seven to peg six. Yarn over, e wrap, yarn over. E wrap three. Move loop twelve. Peg 11. Go ahead and e wrap it so that it makes it easier to move loop 13 to peg 14. So move loop 13 to peg 14 and e wrap. Now, if you're doing a 40 peg loom, you don't have to worry about this. If you're doing a 41 peg loom, you're going to need to purl that last peg. Now you're going to purl one, and then you're going to e wrap three, purl one, e wrap one, purl one, e wrap three. Purl two, e wrap one. You're going to repeat this 13 peg set two more times. So you've just purled one, you're e wrapping three, and then purl one. E wrap one, purl one, e wrap three, purl 
Pearl too. You're up one. Repeat this one more time. Pearl one. You're up three. Pearl one. You're up one. Pearl one. You wrap three. And then you want to pearl two. You wrap one. Now here's where it can get a little complicated depending on what you have. You want to purl those last two. Now you want to move loop two to peg one. Then you want to move loop three to peg four. But go ahead and you wrap those together so that makes it easier to move loop three to peg four. And you want to e wrap those. Next you want to e wrap five. And we're in the transitioning of the diamond pattern to a bird's eye lace pattern. Okay. Now we're going to create another opening. So move loop 11 to peg 10 and loop 12 to peg 13. Here out. Now you're going to repeat that 13 peg set two more times. So move loop two to peg one. Go ahead and e wrap it so it makes it easier to move the next loop. Move loop three to peg four. E wrap. And you want to e wrap. want to move loop 11 to peg 10. Go ahead and e-wrap it. And move loop 12 to peg 13. And then e-wrap. I want to move loop 2 Peg one, because we're doing this one more time. E wrap, making it easier for the next loop to move over. Move loop three to peg four. E wrap. E-wrap five. And you want to move loop.
loop 11 to peg 10. And then you want to move loop 12 to peg 13. You wrap 3. And you want to purl the last one or two picks. Okay, what you want to do is you want to purl two, e wrap one, purl one, e wrap five. Pearl two, key wrap one, pearl one. Repeat this thirteen peg set two more times. All the way around, so two more times. So pearl one. And pearl two. E wrap one. Pearl one. E wrap five. Pearl one. And two. E wrap one, pearl one. Repeat again one more time, pearl two. E wrap one, pearl one. E wrap five. Pearl two, e wrap one, and pearl one. Now we're going to do something that might feel a little tricky, and this is going to be easier on a 40 peg loom rather than a 41 peg loom because we're starting with a very concrete even stitch. And so if you're doing a 40 peg loom, you'll simply move loop 40 to the previous peg. So you'll move loop 40 over to the previous peg right there. If you're using 41, you want to move loop 41 to peg 40. And then you'll e wrap. Now you'll want to loop, move loop 1 to peg 2. And then you want to e wrap. Now we're starting the bird's eye lace officially. So you just opened your section there. We're going to open our next section. So you're going to take the next peg, move it to the previous one, e wrap, and take the next one, move it over, and e wrap. Move the next peg, and you're just going to keep doing this all the way around. E wrap. Move the loop over to the next peg. And E wrap. 
so that when you work the next pattern you want to skip to be able to move that loop back. So keep going all the way around to the other side. us back to where we need to be. Now we're going to curl the last two or three depending on the loom you have. So go ahead and curl the last two or three depending on the loom you have. If it's 40 it's two, curl two. If it's 41 it's curl three. Now you want to e wrap one and purl one. And that gets us to our four peg set that you're fixing to need to do. So you'll want to purl two. E wrap one, purl one. And you want to repeat this four peg set that we just did all the way around. So purl two, E wrap one, purl one. Do it again, purl two. E wrap one and purl one. You're going to do that all the way around. And you want to purl the last two or three, depending on the loom you're using. Now you'll want to move loop two to peg one. You wrap to make it easier to move loop three to peg four. Move loop three to peg four and e wrap. You want to repeat this four peg set all the way around. So skip that one. Move the next loop to the previous peg. Move the next loop over. that all the way around. Make sure you pull the odd peg out. Now you want to purl two, e wrap one, and purl one. So go ahead and purl two. E wrap one. One. That's your four peg set, and you want to do that all the way around. So purl two, e 
here at one throw one and do that all the way around go ahead and pause the video to complete now that we've done that you kind of see the pattern this is what you should have and what we want to do is we want to finish the hat up so we want to close it up but I don't want a whole bunch of bulk at the top where the drawstring is so go ahead and pearl that odd peg out and they're 41 and what you want to do is you want to decrease by every other peg and toss the bottom loop over decrease toss the bottom loop over and that this does that allows you to drawstring your hat without there being too much bulk around the top. After you do that, you want to do a drawstring cast off and then you want to go in and tighten up your cast on if you're wearing it as a regular hat but if not, you can leave it and just sew it on to another hat. If you want to do the stained glass, you want to do 12 rows of regular e-wrap and then 26 rows of after you fold your brim up do it in a contrasting color that will show through. And this is what your hat should look like if you don't add the base. And this is what it looks like if you add a nice base color to it. Looks like stained glass. This is Renee Von Hoy's, Van Hoy's book that I got these stitches from. It's a wonderful book. I will put the link below so that you can go check it out and purchase it. It's great. It does basic stitching all the way up to more complex stitching so definitely go check it on a Ravelry particularly if you can follow written instructions again I'm going to put those links below and I'm also putting the written pattern for this hat below and you're done